All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Down here in the second floor elevator mechanical room, once again, um, just had to pull in the ground wire. I didn't realize this ground wire was missing in here. I didn't pull it in, but I pulled that in. It's a number four, it's pretty big. Um, so just pulled that in from here, had to set a lug inside of here. I could turn this off and show you, but it is live, so I'd rather not. I don't think anyone's using it, but um, just to be safe or just to not mess anyone up, I won't reopen that, but had to open that earlier, which I got okay from because they are setting elevators and they need this power. So um, I got the okay from them. Um, so anyways, open that up, set a ground lug in here on one of the screws, it landed the ground wire there, landed the ground wire in here. Also pulled the ground wire in through the wall from the backside and landed that in here today as well. Then went upstairs to the third floor and uh, set that as, well, didn't set it, but hooked it all up pretty much. Basically everything is as far as done as possible that I can do, I'll go up there and show you that real quick. Um, that's all I really did in here. Nothing new in here. I'm gonna go up there and show you that real quick. And then um, there's something else I did today, but um, then I'll go up to the sixth floor and show you what I did at the end of the day. Um, so be right back. All right, so back up here on the third floor, the lights work, let's go. Um, here is the elevator disconnect on the third floor. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Open that. So this is what it looks like. So downstairs, the top was hot. And then when you open the door, it disconnects the bottom. Um, so I had Nick land, uh, I think all four of these, or I landed the ground, I don't know, but um, got this all wired up. Basically had to drill the hole, had Nick do that. Um, um, set the inch and a quarter flex all the way down to the dis uh, transformer. So this is what the transformer looks like inside. It's pretty sweet. Um, so you got your incoming wire here, the number four, black, red, blue, um, and the ground. And then it steps it up to 480 volt and it comes out on this number 10 wire. Um, so that's a lot smaller. Uh, don't have the lugs on these right here. There's little lugs with uh, holes that you screw the wire into. Um, it basically looks like, the lugs basically look something like that, um, that you bolt to the side of those plates. This is not closing again. I've made a grave mistake. So there are plates that get uh, screwed onto these right here. And then, uh, then you screw your wire t into that. So there's six of them. The uh, number fours, the incoming line, I believe go on the bottom and the outgoing secondaries go on the top um, right there. And then installed and yeah, so we had to drill this out as you can see, shavings right there and then punched it with one inch hole, one and a quarter inch hole. And then took this one inch flex all the way around the back. Um, Right there, I didn't strap that down yet because you don't have the straps. Um, and then took that up to the top, the Flex 90. And I got the wire sitting right inside of there, which goes to this breaker right here. Actually, it's right here. You can't really see it, but breaker wires going there. So they're gonna land that. It's just running the wire for the elevator dudes. And so that pretty much took up a lot of the day right there. And then went up to the sixth floor and was starting to make up uh, apartment panels, um, but then realized they were mounted at the wrong height. So now we have to go back through and move all of them four inches down. I think there's like at least 20 of them and we only got two done at the end of the day because the day was running out of time, but they're very frustrating. I don't know, maybe I'm just making a big deal out of it. Maybe it's gonna, it's good that I'm going home right now because I'm not in a good mood, just because it kind of upset me just having to fix um, someone else's problem. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just kind of, uh, I think it's kind of just like a unspoken thing, like fixing other people's problems or problems that are people made just usually puts you in a bad mood or whatnot. So anyways, I'll go upstairs and show you that real quick and then I will head home because I think that's all I did today. Oh, and also installed the uh, the ground wire on this one um, and the PVC pipe right here with the bell ends. Um, that's a three quarter piece of pipe. 
um, with the ground wire going down and then just stub those up through the bottom and mounted mounted the ground bar right there had to tap that had to drill the ground bar and then tap the uh, transformer itself to put the screws inside to hold it down and then screw the grounds down so that's what we got going on there i'll go upstairs at six real quick drop me a like while i'm walking up there and um, then when that i'll call it a day so i'll be right back all right guys then like i said up here on the sixth floor i'm uh, working on uh Installing the feeder wires that I fed up the last couple days um, on the sixth floor, but had to move the panels down because they were at the wrong height. As you can tell, there's two screws in the front and one on the back to hold it steady. And there's also some washers in the back um, for the right depth out of the wall. Um, so it was a little more complex than just unscrewing the four screws and dragging it down four inches and then resetting it. So I had to take basically everything apart panels down the spreader bars down um, unscrewing the panels from the spreader bar and just redoing everything so it's more complex and annoying than usual and I was getting quite upset about this I don't know why but just having a day at the end of the day so hopefully tomorrow will be better and I won't be so pissed um, but just have to um, fix other people's problems so that's never fun um, um, anyways they also have to re-screw can't screw the panels in from the other side and have the screws facing um, the hallway um, because of the sheet rockers so I had to face the screws going in backwards um, so that was also annoying but anyways we'll get it but it's just uh, been a pain all right everyone thanks for watching I appreciate it if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe see you guys back here tomorrow for one more video Check the description for anything else. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. And basically, I had to move the panels down four inches because the top breaker has to be at no more than 48 inches because of handicap ADA specific specifications. Um, so that's that. It's just measured wrong um, because the panels are upside down or whatnot on the sixth floor because they're bottom fed. Um, so that's that. And hopefully you enjoyed. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace.